I have a friend who doesn't eat bacon, so in that case, we might just put a few extra on mine, or it might just disappear. Mm -hmm. It happens. Hi everybody, I'm David. One of my favorite things to do is go out for brunch on the weekends with my friends. Now that can get a little bit expensive, so today I'm gonna see if I can make brunch for myself and five friends for only $20. That's a pretty tight budget, but um, I'm gonna see what I can do. Let's get shopping and I'll be right back. All right guys, that was pretty tough, but I'm pretty happy with what I've got. After all that, we only spent $20.12. I'm pretty happy about that. We were able to find a nice variety of stuff and we're gonna actually make three different menu items today. We're gonna have a cream cheese stuffed monkey bread, a mixed green salad with an orange dressing, as well as a BLT Eggs Benedict. Of course, I'll be using a few pantry items. These are things we always keep stocked in the Tasty Kitchen. Today, we'll be using salt, pepper, butter, and oil. I'm excited to dive in, and I hope my friends are gonna be impressed. With that said, let's get cooking. So the first thing we're gonna be making is the cream cheese stuffed monkey bread. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a little bit of cinnamon to my sugar here. We'll use this in a bit after we put together our cinnamon rolls and get them ready for the pan. You wanna just kinda of mix that in there so we have that nice light brown color and we'll put that off to the side for now. Now we're gonna use some cinnamon roll dough today because I wanted to make a super easy and quick dessert to add to my brunch. Gonna go ahead and get it open. Oh, all right, looks like the cinnamon rolls had a little bit of pie out themselves. Now you'll wanna cut them in half so that you have almost a sort of moon shape. Bring these two sides together, flatten it down with your finger until it's basically back into a circle again. And we have about four ounces of cream cheese here that we've cut into some cubes. You'll take one of the small cubes, place it into the center, wrap the cinnamon roll around it, roll it between your hands, and then we'll use that cinnamon sugar that we made earlier. Just kind of toss it in there, make sure it's well covered. Can't forget to get a little pan into our baking dish. Now that that's been greased, we can go ahead and finish covering our cinnamon roll ball and the cinnamon sugar. Drop that in there. You wanna place this to the side and we can make a few more to layer in the pan. Now this would be a great step to ask for some help with. If your significant other's around or someone that you love cooking with, definitely bring them in so you can put together this delicious cream cheese stuffed monkey bread together. Now, we're going to make a bit of a caramel sauce to add to this just to make it a little bit more rich and give it a really nice flavor. And for this, it's super simple. We're just gonna use a little bit of brown sugar and some warm butter. Now you wanna whisk this very well. Try to get all of that butter incorporated into the brown sugar. There's a couple of lumps in there, it's no problem. Just keep on mixing with your whisk until you get a little bit more of a smooth consistency. Now we're gonna pour this over the top and then give us a really nice sweet glaze. That looks good. Now we'll go ahead and pour this over our mixture. Try to get an even pour as much as you can, but again, in the oven, it's gonna caramelize the sugar in there and it'll spread nice throughout. All right, that looks good. We're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. And then when we get back, I'll show you what we're gonna do with the icing that came with our cinnamon rolls. All right guys, our monkey bread is finished and looks amazing. When you take it out of the oven, make sure that you let it sit for about five to 10 minutes or until it's cool to the touch. Then you can invert it onto a plate like this and we'll go ahead and get started with our icing. Now, another tip would be the reason that we use that cinnamon roll is because it comes with an icing of its own. So we're gonna just spoon this into a small microwave safe dish, warm it up for about 30 seconds or so, and we're gonna drizzle it along the top for again, another piece of nice presentation. So since we had two cans, We've got plenty of icing for this monkey bread. I will make sure that I get every last drop because this is dollar dish and we will make sure that we get our money's worth. A little bit of frosting trying to hide from it. We're just gonna scrape him out. All right. I've got all of the icing out. I'm gonna go ahead and microwave it for about 30 seconds. And when I come back, we're gonna drizzle it on top of the monkey bread. All right, now we've got our icing just a little bit more workable and I'm gonna drizzle this across the monkey bread for our final touch. This glaze definitely makes the monkey bread look perfect. It's so indulgent, rich, smells amazing. Now it's probably gonna be a good idea to balance this out with a little salad or something. I'll be right back and we'll get started on that. Next up, we're gonna make a mixed green salad with an orange dressing. We've got two oranges, which are actually gonna be doing double duty. We'll segment them to place on top of the salad and also juice them to make a nice citrusy dressing. So how we're gonna do this is take two small cuts first. You're gonna cut off the top and the bottom and this will give us a more sturdy workspace. We don't have the orange moving around when you're trying to do a more difficult cutting technique. Now you'll take your knife and place it just under the skin and try to work it down and around. Now I'm not a pro, so don't feel bad if you're not able to make this perfect. We really just wanna to try to make sure that we save as much of the fruit there as possible 
and just get off all of that peel. Now that we've got our oranges cleaned up, we're gonna go back in with our paring knife and try to cut out these segments. You wanna aim for the space right in between these membranes that you see. Also, it's very important to try to cut angled down at a V from both sides. This way, the segment will free itself. After you get that out, we'll place it into our bowl here to be used later. You can just keep going around and slowly cut those pieces out. This is gonna add a really nice color to our salad and be delicious for our dressing when we juice the rest of it. Now, once you're finished, you wanna take everything that you have left and squeeze it with the juices into your larger bowl because we're gonna use that to make our dressing in a little bit. We're gonna repeat the process with our second orange, get all those wonderful juices in there for our dressing and finish up this salad. All right, now we've got everything set up here to put together our salad and we're gonna get started with the dressing. First things first, I'm gonna put this orange juice into a cup. Make sure you use a strainer just in case a few pieces of those segments got in. We're only gonna need about a quarter cup of orange juice here. After that, we're gonna to wanna to put in our lemon juice and our sugar. And then we'll put this in the microwave for about 60 seconds until the sugar dissolves. All right, now that we've got the sugar dissolved, we're gonna go ahead and mix in our olive oil. Make sure you whisk all of this olive oil in there for our double dip orange vinaigrette. Now we'll wanna put just a little pinch of salt about payao, payao, just two payaos this time, not too much. And depending on your taste, a few cracks of pepper, and that should be good to go. Now I'm gonna put these to the side as I assemble the rest of my salad. We wanna make sure to reserve just about a handful of these mixed greens so we can also use them with our BLT Eggs Benedict. Now, I've got some nice avocados here because I mean, what's a brunch in California without avocados? Those segmented oranges that we worked with earlier. Again, just gonna add another beautiful color to this salad. Some red onions for a nice little crunch. That should do it. And last but not least, I've got some nice honey roasted nuts here that we just chopped up. And I found these pretty much in the checkout aisle where you'll see those little grab and go kind of snacks. I think it's just gonna give another nice little sweet flavor to the end of our salad. And again, make it look a little bit more fancy than it is. It's a dollar dish trend right there. I'm not gonna quite put the salad dressing on yet. I wanna make sure that I toss that within the salad right before we plate everything. And now it's time for the last recipe. Everyone's gonna be here soon, so let's make that Eggs Benedict. Now I'm definitely excited to make this BLT Eggs Benedict. To get started, we're gonna go ahead and make our English muffins. We're gonna take this bad boy, slice it in half, and place it onto our pan like so. So we're only actually gonna use three of these and have some extras left over in the package. So you have more to use for meal prep the next week or just to make another meal. That's another one of our dollar dish tips. And now we're gonna move on to the bacon. We're gonna use about two slices for each of our eggs benedict. So you'll wanna take these and just line them across your pan. Now we could have gone with the typical eggs benedict, but we thought that this little addition of the bacon was gonna give it just another nice flavor and our fun little twist that we'll put on a classic brunch dish. And now that we've got them ready, we're gonna bake these in the same oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll put our English muffins in for about five minutes and our bacon in for about 12 to 15 minutes until it's crispy and golden brown. All right, now it's time to poach our eggs. We're gonna be using these eggs here, which are again a staple within our dollar dish meals because eggs are relatively inexpensive, they're filling, and you can use them within a lot of different dishes. Today, we're gonna to use them for the poached egg within our Eggs Benedict, as well as within our hollandaise sauce. Now, since poaching eggs can be difficult, we're gonna teach you a hack using this muffin tin. You can poach a lot of eggs, save a lot of time, and it can be done a lot quicker. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is grease your pan. You wanna make sure that you put a little bit more than you think you'll need, just so that we don't have the egg white sticking to the side of the muffin tin. Now, we're gonna crack our eggs in, but you wanna be very careful because you don't wanna break the yolk. All right, now that we've got our eggs ready, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. We'll finish off with just a quick six little payao, 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 payao. And one more payao. Wanted to be gentle on that one. And now one of the most important parts, you're going to add one tablespoon of water to each one of the muffin tins that has your egg. Now you don't wanna just drop the water on top, you wanna to try to spread it out around the entire egg so that it forms that egg bath. And if you have extra, go ahead and put it on top in the middle. Now we're gonna place these in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about seven to nine minutes or until that egg white is firm and the yolk still has that nice runny texture. All right, now we've got everything ready to assemble our Eggs Benedict. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my English muffins here and add just a little bit of butter on there so it has a nice rich flavor at the base. Now I'm a butter obsessed person. I feel like if you love people, you butter their food. I'm a butter your biscuit, I'm a butter your muffin, I'm a butter everything. All right, get a little bit more on this last one. I might make this one for me, so I'll put a little extra right there. After that, we're gonna go ahead and add the mixed greens that I reserved from our salad to add a little bit of 
nice color and flavor to our BLT Eggs Benedict. We got the bacon, the lettuce, the tomato. I gotta put the L in my BLT Eggs Benedict. Now that L stands for both love and lettuce. Just kind of distribute those evenly. It doesn't have to be a whole bunch on any one of them. Now we're gonna put the tomato. This will act as a nice little surface for our bacon and our egg. Now for the bacon, we'll take these and just kind of break them in half so that we can fit them on a little bit nicer. And you'll take two pieces for every Eggs Benedict. Now we're ready for the egg. You're gonna wanna tip it over a little to try to let some of that water bath run off and place it on top. All right, last one. The pressure is on. Careful. Ooh, that was close. All right, now we're gonna put together our hollandaise sauce. Seems simple, but you wanna make sure that you're careful as you put this together. We're gonna start with a few egg yolks in our blender, and then we'll add our lemon juice. And you wanna blend this for about a minute or so until you see a pale yellow color. Now that we've got the eggs nice and ready, we're gonna go ahead and start to add this melted butter. Now you wanna very slowly pour this in as it continues to blend. Now we're talking very slow. I mean, LA 405 traffic slow, waiting on your income tax return slow, um, you know, just molasses slow, all type of things slow, you know, that's, that's pretty much what we're looking for here. Normally hollandaise sauce is made in a double boiler, but we're gonna do it in this blender to make it a little bit easier. The heat of the blender in the butter will help to cook those eggs and finish off our sauce. Now that it's almost together, we'll add just a pinch of salt for taste. And that looks perfect. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that you pour this on and serve it immediately. It's gonna have a nice, thick texture, and you just wanna put a nice, generous serving on each one. It adds a really nice, beautiful shine to the top as well, which you're always looking for when you make that Eggs Benedict. And we're just about ready for my friends to come try this out. Now, a lot of times people will top this off with some fresh chives or some paprika, but that's not in the dollar dish budget. So we're just gonna crack a little bit of our free pantry item pepper on here. All right, my friends will be here any minute, so I've gotta get everything else ready so they can try this wonderful brunch. All right, well, I've gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with what we've been able to put together here for only $20. Everything's ready. We've got this decadent cream cheese filled monkey bread, this wonderful mixed green salad with a nice orange dressing, and our BLT Eggs Benedict. And two of my friends showed up a little early, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and see what they think. Hello. What's up, Ooh, guys? How you, you doing? Are you cooking, cooking. I mean, this I'm trying is, to do my thing, you know. How you doing, Ooh, yeah. okay. Good this, to see is, you. this is a spread. Wow, it's I beautiful. Mean, yeah, I thought it was going to be like two egg McMuffins or something. This nah, is... nah, we really try to go hard on Dollar Dish, you know. Here, you look good. Yeah. Let me stop talking and just let you guys try it. Yeah. I feel like this Ooh. needs to be like a, a holiday or something. Let's eat. Mm -hmm. How you mm. feeling? I like how when it's, when you can taste fresh things, how it just like explodes in your mouth. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's a party going on All right now. All those flavors. Let me hop into this BLT though. I'm gonna go ahead. Now, after tasting all of this, let me know what you think I spent on this entire meal. Six eggs, all right, carry the one on that, mm -hmm. some tomatoes in there. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking probably like 50, 60 bucks. Okay. I would say $10 per person. Well, being that this is Dollar Dish, we were just a little bit under that. This entire brunch for six people only cost $20.12. Wow. It was $20.12? This is crazy, man. Hey, hey everybody. Y'all gotta come eat. Thanks so much. Y'all gotta try this. Here. Come on in here and just go ahead and grab one of those bad boys. I'm just, I don't wanna eat this. Oh, of course. Thank you so much. Who brought champagne? We just need some mimosas. See, see, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Dollar Dish, so unless you wanted to drink nitrine, wouldn't go be any mimosas. But um, we'll work on that for next season or something. All right. Um, now that everybody's got their food, oh, one more fork we need in the back, okay. Um, seems like everybody's happy. Everything tastes great. And um, it's time for us to have our little brunch party, so I'll see you next time. Hopefully you subscribe below, and thanks for watching Dollar Dish. Oh, yes.